In this short video, I'm going to teach you how you can use the Facebook group sync tool to sync members of your membership site into a private Facebook group automatically. Now, usually what you would do is you'd set up a Facebook group and you'd have to manually add members and manually remove members. But with the value add on Facebook group sync tool, this will do that for you automatically. Um, as long as they're an active member of your membership site and you've set up the right permissions, it will automatically add them and automatically remove them if needed. So to set it up, there's, some, there's a few things you need to be aware of before you get into it. Number one is this only works with a newly created Facebook group that this tool creates. This tool has to create a new group for this to work. You cannot use an existing Facebook group that already has members attached to it. Secondly, you'll need to create a Facebook application. It's a little bit detailed, but I'm going to walk you through it in this video. And thirdly, the Facebook account that you use to create this application will also be the owner of this Facebook group. So with that out of the way, let me teach you how to use this tool and how to set it up properly. First things first, log into your site owner control panel and click on the Facebook group sync option. Once you're on that page, we'll need to fill out this form by creating a Facebook application. To do that, click on the very first link that says create a Facebook app. This will open up Facebook in a new window. If you're not logged in, go ahead and log in. And the first step is to go to the apps uh, nav button right here and press add a new app. Now, if you don't see this option, what you might see is something that says register as a developer. If that's what you see, go ahead and register as a developer, complete the steps that it asks, and then come back and click on add a new app. Once you click that, you'll be taken to a screen that looks like this. Now, they have a kind of a simple wizard uh, option that they give you, but it's much easier, in my opinion, to use the advanced setup. So you can bypass this whole option by clicking on the blue text link that says Advanced Setup. Now it's going to ask you, what is the name of your app? This is going to be the name of the Facebook group that you want to create right now. So for this example, I'm going to call this FB Group Sync Tool. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it, uh, you know, so-and-so's private members area, uh, online mastermind, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can uh, name it whatever you want. It's up to you. But this will be the name of your Facebook group. Once you do that, go ahead and press Create App ID. Now, if there's any errors, um, it's going to show up with one of these little bubbles, and it's going to tell you what the error is. So, for example, this error says I can't use the word FB in my name. That's fine. I'll go ahead and remove it. Then go ahead and uh, press Create App again, and it's going to make me choose a category. So go ahead and choose a category. category that I like to choose a lot of times is the education space. Okay, now that we've created the app, we have to confirm by putting in the characters that it's asking for right here. And uh, I never get these correct, so let me go ahead and try it again. Sometimes you've got to be a rocket scientist to uh, get these in the first try. Now it's submitting the app, and it's going to create the app right now. Okay, so we've created the app, and it's given us a few things that we're going to copy and paste. Number one is the app ID. Number two is the app secret. But there's a few more things we need to do. And while we're on this page, here's what you need to complete. First things first, go ahead and go to settings. And we'll need to put in a contact email. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my email address. Another thing that will be required to do is put in an app domain name. Now the app domain is going to be one of two domains. It's either going to be the URL of your uh, membership site. For example, mine is fbgroupsync.valueaddon.com. Or it's going to be the customized domain name. Now you have to be very particular on which URL you put in here. You have to choose one or the other. Are you going to use the subdomain that comes for free with your membership site? Or if you choose to customize the domain with a custom domain URL, then use that URL. Okay. For this example, I don't have a custom domain, so I'm going to use the uh, default domain that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that into here. So now that I've pasted that URL in here and I've put in a contact email address, I'm also going to add a platform. I'm going to choose website. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste that URL once again into here. And then I'm going to hit Save Changes. 
Okay, so this is all saved. The next thing we need to do is to turn this application on by going to the status and review section. And we just wanna change it to yes. We wanna make this application available to the public. We wanna confirm it. Now there's a little green circle right here, which means this application is live and ready to go. So we've just completed all the steps necessary on Facebook. Now what we have to do is we have to go ahead and go back to the dashboard. We have to copy and paste these settings. So here's our application ID. Let's go ahead and copy this. Go back to our site owner control panel and paste in the application ID. Make sure there's no extra spaces or extra characters and you got it looking right. Let's go back to Facebook and let's go ahead and copy our app secret. Now, before we can copy the app secret, we have to show it. So press the show button, go ahead and highlight that entire thing, copy it. Once again, go back to your control panel and paste it in here. Now, the last remaining thing is we need to paste in our app token. But if you're on this page, you'll see that the app token is not available. It's not here. To find your app token, go back to your control panel. There's a little link that says get your app token. Click on that. That'll open up yet another page on Facebook and select the right app token. Now, if you already have apps listed on this page, make sure you find the right name of the app because um, you might have five or ten of these and they're all different and they all go to a specific application. Make sure to find the right one and copy the right app token. Then go ahead and paste it in the box. Okay. Now that you've pasted all the variables in here, go ahead and press Save Settings. This is going to go ahead and now it's going to ask you to connect your Facebook account to this application. So press OK or whatever it asks you to do. Go ahead and uh, go through the whole thing. Now it's just going to ask for some more permissions. Go ahead and press OK again. OK, once you've done that, it should give you a message that says your Facebook account has been successfully connected. Um, now there's one more thing to do. Go ahead and press begin here. Okay, so once you've pressed that, your group will be created. Now I know there's a big red error up here. Uh, don't mind that, I want you to, to continue on. That error doesn't mean anything. Instead, I want you to complete the rest of the process. To do that, you'll need to preview your membership site. To preview your site, go ahead and click on your title of your membership site right here. This will bring you into a preview of your membership site and you'll now see something right here. It's a blinking red box. And we need to, we need to complete this step before uh, our task is done. So go ahead and press join the group. Once again, confirm the permissions that it asks. Now we are 100% done. So now it says you have been successfully added into this group. Now the widget has changed to join the fun and you are 100% done with setting up your Facebook group sync tool. If you want to view your group now, you can click on view the group. This will take you to Facebook and here is your new group that you just created. So this is the same group that your members will be able to join once they join your membership site if they have the right permissions. If they are no longer a member of your membership site, the tool will automatically remove them from this group. So not only will it add them into the group, it will also remove them from the group and sync your members perfectly. That's it.